Unit 6 technique. Here we have the Alberti base. Now the Alberti base, remember, is that bottom top, middle top pattern. It's not really four notes. It's really one chord, isn't it? What's the most important tone in that triad? It'd be the bass, especially because this is in our left hand. We're anchoring the harmony, and that bass then is going to be a powerful note. Even when we're on something like a 5-7, where that fifth finger isn't playing the root of the chord, the root of the chord being a C for the C7, but it's still an important tone that grounds our whole melody. And in fact, often I like to think of these bottom notes and our melody as being a profile. You get bottom and top that move and weave together. Sometimes they weave in a parallel motion and sometimes they go in contrary motions. So when we're voicing that is playing certain notes louder than others, we're going to bring out the melody and we're going to bring out the bass, but we're going to underplay the inner tones. So our goal here with the Alberti bass is to bring out the bass and really have the other tones very soft. Notice how I'm practicing it. Bass, and just stay with the top ones a bit. And my hand isn't locked, but I'm floating up slightly. So it stays in motion. Another thing we can do is drag the bottom finger. So we drag that bass under. is a wonderful sound, especially bringing in the melody, because we're hearing that tenth. And what is that tenth? That's an octave and a third. Beautiful sound. And these tenths move to tens. And across the page, on page 71, we have our scale playing. The key for that scale playing fluency is to let the thumb relax. Instead of tucking the thumb under, which is maybe what your teacher told you years ago when you're young, what I recommend instead is to let the thumb relax as soon as it's finished playing so that it's hanging behind the finger that plays. So right here, I'm actually just behind finger two. Here it's right behind finger three, and then ready to go on scale step four. In this way, the thumb stays relaxed, and yet it's prepared for its new placement. This will give you fluency, and it takes tension out of the thumb, which is going to greatly enhance your coordination.